Question number five is, it's a cash flow question. I'll quickly look around now for the cash flow statement. The following information has been collected from the records of Hortz Holiday Travel Agency. The financial year ended the 30th of June 2015. So what we've got down here is we've got a list of items and we, are, we have to uh, put them into a classified cash flow statement. Now when we're doing a cash flow statement, what are we classifying into? What about classifications that we're going to do? Operating, investing, financing, non-cash. So those are my four classifications. All right, so let's have a look. Bank balance at the 30th of June, now that's a balance. What about interest paid? Where would I classify interest paid? <coughs> Operating. What about dividends paid to shareholders? <coughs> Financing. Profit after tax for the year ended 30 to June? <coughs> Non-cash. Cash at bank balance, okay, that's my opening balance. What about depreciation for the year? Non-cash. Non -cash. Oh. Non Payment for motor vehicles purchased on the 31st of the 3rd. Investing. Loan repayments made. Financing. Taxes paid to the Australian Tax Office. Operating. Cash received from the sale of machinery. Investing. Cash sales. Cash received from accounts receivable. Operating. Payments to suppliers. Credit sales for the year. Money borrowed from RMIT Bank. Financing. Purchase of property, plant and equipment. Or property land for cash. Investing. So we've done them all. Oops. Focus. All good. All right, so now I can actually start my cash flow statement. holiday travel uh, for year ended the 30th of June 2015 and once again the important piece of information is for the year ended tell me that and you get a mark next thing I'm going to do is my operating activities And my first one will be my collections from customers. <coughs> so my collections from customers, I've got two. I've got cash sales and I've got cash received from uh, accounts receivable. So I'm going to put them both together and that's a million. My next thing I'm going to do is my payments to my suppliers. And my payments to suppliers is 6.75. And I'm going to bracket the figure because it's a cash outflow. What else have I got? I got my taxes paid to the ATA. And my taxes paid is 99000 And that's a cash outflow as well. 
Any others? I've got interest paid as well. And my interest paid is 2500 Have I got all my operating activities? I think I have. So now I want to have my cash flow from operating activities. Let's have a look here. So I have one million minus six hundred and seventy-five thousand minus ninety-nine. Minus 2,500 equals 223,500. Then I'm going to look at investing activities. So my investing activities, let's have a look. Payment for motor vehicle. So my payment for motor vehicle is forty thousand, and that's a cash outflow. Um, I'll put my purchase of property, plant, and equipment <coughs> of property. <coughs> my purchase of land was one hundred and fifty thousand. And I had another one, where was that? That was at cash received from the sale of machinery. Cash proceeds from machine sale. And that was 100000 And that's a cash inflow. That's the only three. So we've got 190, I've got 90,000 cash outflow. Financing activities. Uh, my financing activities is my dividends paid. My dividends paid is twenty five thousand, and it's a payment, so it's going to be an outflow. Uh, that's a non-cash item. That's a non-cash item. So my loan repayments is sixty-five thousand. And that's a cash outflow as well. Any other financing activities? That's a non-cash loan proceeds. My loan proceeds is fifty thousand, and that's a cash inflow. Oopsie. Okay, so what have I got here now? I've got uh, seventy, ninety. I've got a forty thousand outflow. <coughs> Next thing I'm looking for is net cash flow. And my net cash flow is that's uh, what's that? 130, 130 less 223 is 93,500, and it's a positive cash flow. My opening cash balance and my opening cash balance was 35,000. And my closing cash balance will just be the sum of these two. What does that give me? Eight one twenty eight five hundred. And that takes care of question number A. Now it asked me. The next question is, Claude's Holiday Travel Agency has approached you for a loan. 
taking into consideration the cash flow statement you have just prepared, would you advance them alone? Give reasons. So what we're looking at here is Warning signals. Can I identify any warning signals or lack thereof warning signals? Now the first one I'd always want to look at is my operating cash flow. So my operating cash flow is positive. Okay, so let's go. See. So I've got a positive <coughs> operating cash flow. So that's a good sign. The next thing I'm going to look at is my net cash flow down here and that's also positive. So that's going to indicate to me my cash received is more than cash paid. The next thing I'm going to look at is up here where my cash payments and my cash receipts. So my collections from my customers and my payments to my suppliers. So collections from customers is more than payment to suppliers. So my payments to suppliers, that's another good one. And here's one that might not be very easily identifiable. But once again, we're going to look at this number here and we're going to compare it to our profit after tax. So my profit after tax was given here in this number here. And my profit after tax is 185000 And my operating cash flow is 223500 so my operating cash flow is higher than my profit after tax, which is another good sign. So profit after tax. Now, Having a positive operating and cash flow is a good sign. Cash received is more than cash paid is a good sign. Collections from customers is more than cash payments. And my operating cash flow is higher than my profit after tax. All of those are a good sign. So back to the question, would you advance them alone? Yes. For the above reasons. <coughs> 